If you'd like to send out a drip SMS campaign, the process is quite similar to sending a instant workflow SMS. But instead of doing an instant action, under scheduled actions, you put in your desired trigger date. We might want to have it two days after when the contact is created in this welcome SMS flow. And then we simply use a create record action the same way that we do for an instant workflow SMS. Everything else is exactly the same. Put in, give it a name. Link it to the contact and put in a message. Once you've done that, you can bear in mind that this scheduled action will only trigger if the conditions are still true. You could have something like, as well as that you're checking that it's in Australia, you could have something like this, that you might have a contact status and it might be that the sales team if they found that it wasn't a good fit, they might change the record type to Laura demo. And in that case, this workflow SMS, the one that will go out two days later, will not send. So that's a, a helpful way because it, it means that even if someone, for example, maybe they call in after they get the first SMS and it wouldn't be appropriate to send out the second SMS in that situation, by making sure that your conditions are correct, it's still going to happen in an appropriate way that it will only send this second message if these conditions are still true two days later.